T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V with Maven. Looking for clues about the evolution of Mars through its atmosphere. Looking good, still at 100% rated thrust on the RD-180. Vehicle rates are looking good. We do have roll program in, right as expected. We are actively controlling the mixture ratio. Valve position looks good. Thrust regulator valve position looks good. Speeds are good. And vehicles operating as expected. Continue uh, down the center of the range track. Everything is looking good. We're now 1.6 nautical miles of altitude, 1 mi 0.1 miles downrange, traveling at a little over 1,000 miles per hour. And we have ended our pitch yaw roll programs. Everything is looking good, continuing at 100% thrust. Passing through the sound barrier, Maven is now supersonic. RD-180 continues to operate at 100% rated thrust. We are about to pass through Max-Q. And vehicles passing through Max-Q, rates look good. Engine continues to operate at 100%, and we have throttled down to 95% thrust right on time. We're now 10 nautical miles in altitude, 7.4 miles downrange, traveling at 2,200 miles per hour. And everything is looking good. Continue to operate at 95% thrust. Coming up on our next mark event, I expect to enable Q Alpha steering. And steering is enabled. Body rates look as expected for bringing in steering. Vehicle is now 50% of its liftoff weight. And we're about to fire the pyro valves to activate the second stage reaction control system. Pyro valves have fired. System has pressurized. And the RD-180 continues to operate as expected at 100% rated thrust, or 95% rated thrust correction. Rates are looking good. Continue to accelerate, passing through three Gs. PU control looks good. And continue to, fly, continue to fly right down the center of the range track. We are now 35 miles in altitude, 70 miles down range at 6,000 miles per hour. Reaction control system is now fully pressurized. And continue to operate at 95%. Good PU control, smooth body rates, continue to have nominal acceleration. Vehicle is now 25% of its liftoff weight. We are now throttling the engine to actively control at 5 Gs. We have started boost phase chill down. Housing temps are reacting as expected. Continue to operate the RD-180 as expected. We are now flying a 4.6G throttle profile. Engine is throttling, getting ready for booster engine cutoff. We do have, we have Beco coming up on staging. We have stage separation. Everything is looking good. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. Everything's looking good. Ignition, full thrust. Since our main engine is up at 100% rated thrust, coming up on fairing separation, we have fairing set. And rates look good for fairing separation. Should be cutting back in on closed loop control. And 
we've done purge firings in the reaction control system as expected. We do have closed loop control reestablished after fairing jettison. The RL-10 continues to operate as expected, nice and smooth. PU is in open loop control as expected. Axial acceleration is steady. We are now 93 or 107 miles in altitude, 426 miles downrange, traveling at 11,700 miles per hour. Vehicle is continuing right down the center of the range track. Everything looking good. We are seeing our expected thruster, reaction control thruster, thermal maintenance firings. Body rates are nice and smooth. Everything is continuing to look good. Engine operating parameters are good. We are now in the process of executing a 9 minute 30 second first burn of Centaur. Everything is looking good. We have closed loop control on the PU system about a little over 20 seconds ago. That transition looks as expected. Continuing to operate at a LOX rich mixture ratio. We have now begun our roll to Tedris attitude. Our delta PE for the boost phase, or preliminary look, gives us uh, 78 pounds of delta PE. That's uh, one sigma high to our nominal rate. We had format change. And continuing to get uh, clean data. Engines continue to operate as expected. Time to see our expected activity on the reaction control thrusters. Yeah. 152 miles in altitude, 826 miles downrange, traveling at 12,500 miles per hour. And PU continues to operate on the lock stop. That's as expected for this time in flight. We are seeing some noise in telemetry at this time, but enough data is coming through. We're seeing steady operating pressure levels on the RL-10. Everything is looking good. And I continue to see the mass error signal correct itself as expected. Engine pressures are nice and smooth, accelerating smoothly, a little over half a G at this time. And we're seeing all of our reaction control system temperatures come together as we condition the system. Everything looking good. And PU is continuing on the lock stop. Everything looking good. Can we see our expected thruster firing? There's very little roll control has been needed. Mm, passing through nine minutes into the mission, everything looking good. RL-10 is operating nominally. We're seeing smooth body rates. Have uh, loss of uh, contact here at the Cape in uh, communications. Uh, Antigua is now providing data. Engine operating normally. Everything looking good. Steady acceleration at 0.56 G's, right down the center of the range track. 
168 miles in altitude, 1,400 miles downrange, traveling at 14,000 miles per hour. Everything is looking good. Operating parameters on the engine, very steady, nice and smooth. We are seeing our oxidizer error in the PU system control it coming towards nominal. The valve has come off the stop. We're seeing active uh, control of the PU valve now on the RL10. Vehicle continues to burn normally. And since we have launched at the beginning of the window, we are expecting our spacecraft separation time right at 52 minutes, 42 seconds into the mission. Continuing to see active control, center PU, engine pressures are reacting as expected to the change in mixture ratio. Smooth body rates. Nominal performance down the range track. We are inside of three minutes to meet go one. PU controls coming up near the nominal mixture ratio. Engine continues to operate as expected, seeing the normal small adjustments in engine pressures as the PU valve slews. Our PU pedal. Rates are good. Pressures are good. RCS activity is right as expected. Very little roll control is being required out of the reaction control system. Engine is burning normally. We are now inside of two minutes. Tomiko 1. Maven is continuing to fly normally. Once we complete this burn of Centaur, first burn of Centaur, we will enter a 27 minute, 36 second coast phase, followed by a second burn and then spacecraft separation. Continuing to look at uh, very good telemetry data. Engine is good, rates are good. As noted before, seeing normal activity in the control system with very little roll control needed. PU is now operating near nominal mixture ratio. And everything is looking normal on the vehicle. Approaching 30 seconds to Miko 1. Coming up on Miko 1, vehicle's looking good. 10 seconds to a expected Miko 1 time. Open loop on PU, locked, and Miko, we have cutoff. Cutoff time right as expected, everything looks good. 4S settling thrusters are on. And we are beginning to reorient to our PTC attitude and starting our PTC roll. And we are actively controlling Pressure in the tank uh, by controlling our vent valve locking. Everything looks good there. Now climbing into our PTC roll rate of one and a half degrees per second, and we have now achieved that rate. Continuing to see settling as expected. 
And our nominal orbit right now during the coast phase is 87 nautical miles by 170 nautical miles.